Hello all, welcome to Tech Vistas. In this video, I will discuss about the try in event driven pattern. In my previous videos, I have discussed about the uh, publisher subscriber pattern in which uh, we discussed that how our two obligations uh, being decoupled uh, from each other can uh, can process the events or messages uh, via queues and topics. So I will not go in that detail, but if you are interested or want uh, some background about that, uh, you can uh, please uh, click on the link above. So here we'll discuss about uh, in case of uh, uh, while processing the message, if there are some uh, transient issues, right? Transient errors coming. Uh, so how do we uh, do the try in that case, right? So let's see uh, the pattern and understand that. So as we know that uh, in any asynchronous application, uh, we have application that publishes the message, and we also have uh, applications or application that subscribe to those messages, right? So basically. Uh, the publisher will publish the messages and Haskara will read that message and process that. And in between, uh, we have a queue. So here, uh, we'll call that, uh, say, request queue because whatever the event or messages uh, we want uh, to send to the Haskara uh, location that are being pushed by the publisher onto request queue, right? So now, uh, once uh, the message is pushed uh, in request queue, the application will subscribe to these messages will keep listening. So once uh, there's a message on the queue, it will pick up the message and do the processing. And in case of uh, processing failure, maybe uh, there is some uh, transient uh, connectivity issue or there is some temporary database down, so uh, that is going to fail, right? So if message is not getting processed properly, uh, so what we do? So in case uh, we discard the message, it will be just lost because maybe uh, that message is for uh, some payment or maybe uh, some kind of billing in case of e-commerce application. So what is the, our criteria or how we handle that? So suppose uh, there is a failure, right? So in case of failure, subscribable application will basically uh, it it has uh, it has to think about the various options. What what we can do in that case? So first option uh, is that uh, that message is again uh, sent to request to queue, right? So so uh, once we pick up that message and message processing has been failed. Uh, because of uh, some issues which are temporary in nature. Uh, so we can send that message back with request queue. And next time uh, when that message uh, comes into the processing, we can retry that, right? So that is the one way to retry the message. Uh, second, uh, because now here what is happening, uh, we in the same queue, we are, uh, we are basically putting the first messages also the messages which are which we are retrying right so so maybe it become difficult to understand that which messages are the fresh or which are the previous one so maybe uh, we have to add some information uh, like some kind of a flag or metadata to the header of that uh, message right so and another option in case of uh, message failure message uh, processing failure is that we can develop uh, a separate retry queue, right? So any messages which are not getting processed uh, by the subscriber application, those can be pushed to retry queue. So uh, from retry queue, based on your application or business logic, either uh, we can retry that message uh, within uh, some uh, fixed interval or maybe uh, we can uh, have some logic, for example, we can retry after uh, like maybe some, like we can retry after some time, maybe we can have like increasing interval. Suppose uh, first retry happened at uh, two seconds, 
second uh, second retry can happen at four second third can happen at 15 seconds right so because you want to give more and more time and also another thing is that uh, and how how is how we are you are uh, going to basically respond like how many retries you want to do suppose uh, you did uh, three four five retries but still it's not getting processed so you have to also decide a number of retries which you want to do right so next uh, next way uh, next uh, criteria or next uh, option uh, is to keep in database so suppose uh, 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 you have uh, some failure of processing you can also persist the message into the database and from there uh, you you can basically uh, you can uh, pick it up and process again so but uh, how and how many times you you want to do uh, the the tries and and what interval that is uh, solely on the business uh, requirement and how do you want to handle that right so these are the various ways whenever there is a uh, processing failure of message you can either uh, push the message to a request queue or you can have a, a separate try queue or the database right so from here uh, you can do the processing of the uh, you can retry maybe uh, you can uh, you can use the same application uh, to process that maybe you can have some different logic altogether to do a retry so that is up to uh, your designing now what happens in case of uh, you did suppose you define i will do uh, three retries uh, for my message processing but even after three retries uh, it is not going through. So what we do in that case? So we create a separate the letter Q and put the message over there because uh, we understood that even if uh, we keep trying uh, with our main logic, it's not going to go through. So in that case, uh, we put the message to the letter Q, and in that uh, from there, either uh, we can use uh, you can have some utility or maybe some batch processes or maybe manually the uh, production support team has to go and uh, see and process that because see we cannot uh, we cannot uh, ignore the message because it might have some important information about any business aspect so we have to process it also the timelines right because suppose uh, something is uh, being done by customer now and if we are processing after two, three days, it may, it may become irrelevant, right? So we have to uh, process that uh, message uh, from uh, this queue in, in the SLA, as per SLA requirement, right? So this is the uh, retry, uh, retry pattern in case of event and architecture. So in a normal happy case scenario, uh, there is no issue. Uh, we publisher application will publish the message and the software will uh, read the message and process it whatever is, uh, it, it can do it, it can basically call uh, the api so whatever i mean as per your logic but in case of any failure happening in your application to process the message so either uh, you can again put the message uh, in the request queue or the try queues or the database but in case uh, it's still after having enough retries, it's not going through, then uh, you have to push them into the blacklist queue or the letter queue. And from there, you have to decide whether you have some utility or a bad job or maybe some manual processing uh, by a single log. You have to do that. So this is like a, about the uh, retry, uh, retry pattern in the event driven architecture. And and there are various uh, various uh, configurations like maybe if you're using the uh, rabbit mq or whatever kafka so there are some uh, inbuilt uh, functionality which can utilize so i will discuss about that later but uh, for now uh, thank you very much uh, for watching i'll see you next time uh, please leave comments or questions uh, if any please subscribe as well thank you very much